15 years ago, the Lord of Terror was unleashed upon the world. In 1995, a small development studio named Condor Games approached Blizzard Entertainment with an idea for a claymation, turn-based single-player RPG with the working title of Diablo. The promise of swords, sorcery, and slicing through waves of demons sold Blizzard on the idea, but a few changes were made. Diablo's turn-based mechanic was replaced with real-time combat, lending the game a relentless hack-and-slash feel. Blizzard was so impressed with Condor's creativity and design savvy that halfway through the game's development, Blizzard's parent company, Davidson & Associates, acquired Condor. The studio was later renamed Blizzard North. Diablo would become one of Blizzard's biggest hits, drawing acclaim from gamers and critics alike, while racking up numerous Game of the Year awards. While 2.5 million sales are an impressive feat, Diablo's greatest impact on the future of Blizzard Entertainment was the debut of the original Battle.net gaming service. Battle.net provided Diablo players with the ability to chat with other gamers and to easily find multiplayer games. Diablo introduced players to the service that would grow into the industry-leading gaming platform we have today. <sighs> Fresh meat. Following a much-needed rest after Diablo's release, Blizzard North immediately set to work on crafting an epic sequel. Five new character classes were designed, each featuring three unique skill trees. Diablo II's four-act story would lead players on a gripping campaign to hunt down Diablo and his brothers, Baal, the Lord of Destruction, and Mephisto, the Lord of Hatred. The story was set, and after three years, Diablo II was released worldwide on June 29, 2000. Diablo II sold more than one million units in its first two weeks, setting a record for the fastest-selling PC game of its time. Battle.net grew in popularity with each Blizzard game release, and Diablo II made the service more popular than ever before, thanks to features like chat room avatars and server-side character storage. In 2001, Blizzard released Diablo II's expansion set, Lord of Destruction. Diablo II would remain popular for years to come, and Blizzard would support the game by releasing content and balance patches nine years after the game's original release. But players continued to wonder, what of a sequel? Where was Diablo III? When Blizzard North closed its doors in 2005, the future of the franchise seemed uncertain. The truth was finally revealed at the Worldwide Invitational in France in 2008. Diablo III would become a reality. This exciting revelation would only bring more questions. What is the fate of Sanctuary? What is Inferno? What would this mean for Battle.net? Would Diablo III capture the action and excitement that made the previous games such a success? The world is about to find out.